Welcome to lesson 122 of A Course in Miracles. And this lesson is it's, it's beautiful and it's, and let's see whether we can download it a little bit more, if we can actually understand it and, and so we can actually transform our lives. Because this is the way, this is what we want. What is it that you want? And this is the, the this is what you need to ask yourself. In what ways? you're wishing to transform your life in what what is what is it that you wish to create because depends on that um you know some of these lessons will make sense or some won't um if you and this is you know this is what what do i want what do i want what makes me happy you know or maybe yeah, just not even worry about being happy. Is it, is it happiness that you're after? Is it peace that you're after? Is it um, love that you're after? Is it success that you're after? Recognition? Um, what exactly is it? And where can you find it? Or have you been able to find it? Uh, maybe, maybe you found it and maybe you're just going, oh, well, I'm just doing these lessons because I just want to... I don't know. Just want to, 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 to keep this joy that I'm that I'm that I'm happy that I'm that I that I have, yeah, that I have achieved. Um, we've been talking about the two different levels, yeah, and one level is is the truth of, of who we are. One level is yes. No matter what happens around me. I can connect to peace, and we all have experienced this in different. Uh, ways. I mean, we have all probably by this stage encountered some uh, challenging circumstances or some painful circumstances, and but you are still here. So there has to be something within yourself that has got you to this point. Because yes, you have have tricky moments, and um, so what is that that has has brought you here? And, uh, and this is what we need to keep recognizing within ourselves, to keep connecting within ourselves and to keep choosing. Because we, 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 drawn, we draw upon that in a something when we are being challenged in very specific moments, but then we forget and then we fall into this, this illusion and we feel powerless. You know why we feel powerless? We, because we get, trigger we get angry we get sad we get offended we get hurt powerless you know someone says something and we oh my god um something happens and we go oh my god i can't handle it no 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 you can it's just that you forgot and this is what we need to recognize now we're not looking for something that does not exist within ourselves we are looking for something that you've connected many times, but you keep forgetting that it's there. So the lesson, which is a fantastic lesson today, it's forgiveness offers everything I want. And I was listening to someone that is a, a fantastic um, teacher from Spain today, and he was actually um, making the difference of what forgiveness is just for or, or clarifying the concept of forgiveness because there are two forgivenesses <laughs> and i think that most of the times we choose only one or we choose to believe only in one so one forgiveness is the level of forgiveness that society has made us believe that the education system that makes us believe that religion has made us believe that our parents have made us believe <laughs> <laughs> and that we keep in other, we're teaching others, yeah? The forgiveness that, yes, you've done something really bad to me, but because I'm such a good soul, I'm going to forgive you. I'm going to forgive you for the wrong that you've done to me. So in this idea of forgiveness, I recognize that there's a sin and a sinner, yeah? And a victim. So in this level of forgiveness, this idea of forgiveness, there's a sin, a sinner, and a victim. And usually that victim is me. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Because we are the ones that are offended, hurt, you know. Although many times we are the, the sinners and someone else is the victim. But is the recognition and the, the yes, this is the level of, um, you know, this, this reality of horizontal reality that we've been looking at. Yes, in this, yes, yes, there's a sinner, there's a sin, there's a victim. Yes, I can also, I can see it here. Yeah, I can see it here in this horizontal reality, in the reality of this three dimension that we see with our eyes and with our senses, yeah? But this, there's another way of forgiveness. There's another forgiveness, and this is the forgiveness that the Course talks about. And this is the forgiveness that says, there's no sinner, there's no sin, there's no uh, victim, because it's all an illusion. Nothing exists, only my perception of it. And this is the one that is a little bit harder to grasp because this understanding, you can only get it by drawing, drawing, uh, drawing within, the wisdom within. Because in our outside world, in this horizontal reality, you go, yes, well, there is a sin, of course. He, she did this to me. The system did this to me, of course. Look at the result. I, I'm carrying it in my body. What I see is true. Yeah. So at this level, it's impossible to understand this truth of forgiveness. So remember that there's two levels of truth. One is real, the other one is an illusion, but they're, they're very real in our perception, yeah? So as I said, in this horizontal reality, there is a sinner, a sin, and a victim, and there's no question about it. The invitation is draw more and more and more within in this vertical reality and see if you can see Observe, observe if you can see this specific situation differently. And this will take a lot of inner power and the desire to create more peace within. Because remember that we were saying yesterday, this is a horizontal reality. This is the vertical reality. There is, we are in this vertical reality because we are light, peace, love, joy. You know, you, we've been experiencing this. This is our truth. But if you keep keeping parts of yourself in this horizontal reality, you will never achieve this full experience of peace, joy, and love and light and truly transform your life because you keep parts of yourself in this, this a sinner, a sin, and a victim. And these parts of yourself are attached there, are attached in there. And the idea is to recognize that yes, there are parts of myself stuck in there because this is what I've experienced, or this is my perception of what I've experienced, but my wish, and this is why I, the first question was, what is it that you want? What is it that you wish? My wish is to create more peace within. My wish is to feel joy. My wish is to feel happy, to truly feel love. If that is your wish, you will have to keep bringing all those aspects of yourself, either up or down, whatever, in this horizontal, that are in this horizontal reality, bring them into this vertical reality of truth and divine connection. And this is what is required for all of us to be able to evolve into the fourth, fifth dimension, whatever it is, but in, into more love, yeah? Our human race is being asked and is being uh, plead, whatever that word might be, to evolve into more love. Because if we keep our ways, we will run the risk of self-destroying. And we don't want it. The galaxy doesn't want it. The universe doesn't want it. 
So stick to your wish. If your wish is to create more peace and love and joy within, um, see if you can keep understanding uh, the way uh, forgiveness is explained in the course and see if you can actually do it, be it, yeah? Connect to your heart and feel more peace and more love, even though that situation is still unresolved. That person hasn't said, for, I'm sorry. That person left, whatever. But you need to create more peace within. You need to, you deserve, the, the, deserve it. And it is also your responsibility. So stick to it, stick to it. Uh, many blessings. Be very kind to yourself. This is the first level of forgiveness, being kind and forgiving to ourselves. Yes, yeah? so um, jump in within and enjoy the peace and love that resides there. See you tomorrow for a for lesson one twenty three.